Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sacred Guard, and welcome back to Shrift EX4. Now, in the last episode, uh, there was a whole bunch of exposition that we ended up having to sit through that even now, like, I still don't fully understand everything, but I'm at the point where just, I'm not even gonna bother trying to understand everything. But all I can really know for now is that it seems like in the same vein that um, you can do an Undertale, the players seem to have some influence on the way the game's story has gone. And this is probably just a little hee hee ha ha from the developer and whatnot. But at the same time, he could have they could have also uh, seen like the end results based on comments and whatnot for how everybody played the game and from there decided okay let's have the story take this direction because of this when they decided to do the uh collab and honestly i like it so yeah we end up coming here get to see everybody buddha statue i don't know what i'm even gonna use these for so i'm pretty sure i can't sell anything but um we are now here in the human world with Kazuya's group of dete uh, detectives. Got Nina Chan. <laughs> got Nina. Got um the Iron Maiden, I already Lucy, and Tatana Boa, who's uh clearly not having any of this, but it's alright, it's okay, honey, don't worry about it. You're, you're just here for a little while, so have some tea before anything happens. Oh boy. Yeah, begin this story, because I think it's going to be more e exposition. I don't even think there's going to be much action happening this time around, but that's fine. Okay. I see. So that's what made Abaddon start moving. As I had little interest in the human realm at the time, I didn't pay much attention to stories about Abaddon when I lived in the demon realm. To think they'd all connected like this. Hmm. Intervention? Parallel worlds? It's a pretty huge, insane story you brought with you. You expect us to believe all that? Whether you believe it or not, it's all true. <laughs> to think I'd have to explain this to not just the guests, but to you demon girls as well. But that should about do it for the explanation. Has that convinced you about the events leading us to coming here? Mm. Yeah, Lucy Franny's not having any of it either. You didn't even mention the most important thing. Why does Kazuya have angel magic in him? Didn't he give it back to Reina directly after he escaped? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure, like, I shouldn't be able to have all the power that I've got again now after, uh, all was said and done. And more to the point, wasn't it smashed to smithereens when she turned into semi -El? I, I've been wondering about that too. I don't think I asked you about that. No, no, we haven't actually. <coughs> we actually have not asked this entire time. I've told you be uh, before about how the old one in Abaddon has started interfering with the other parallel worlds, right? But as a result of that interference, one powerful enemy after another appeared, such as the Fairy Queen and that vicious Demon King-class bird. Those enemies would be too much for Kazuya Kun to handle without magic. So I took what data I had left on the intervener through my medium and used it to create the Kazuya Kun from just before his escape from the city. One of those so-called avatar things. Okay, so he's a st this is a stand-in for the real Kazuya at this current time. <coughs> like a like a sort of half body like it's a, like that it's it's him but it's not really him originally i had thought to deal with the problem by having the intervener handle data for me in the form of ex stages but that didn't work a hollow shell of kazuko wouldn't be able to establish a proper bond with the demons and without that we wouldn't be able to solve the problem 
This is a bit complicated, but I had the true mercy Kazuya couldn't take over the Avatar's consciousness and made it so he would share my room with the Intervener. Though he had lost the means to go to my room, the connections to each demon were still there, so by establishing a link wasn't all that difficult. And to avoid throwing his consciousness into turmoil, I had the real Kazuya couldn't handle all this in a dream. Or at least, that's what was supposed to happen. Now I get it. So that's why he suddenly turned up on the doorstep when we thought he was sound asleep in his room. Ah! So the, I'm currently using the Avatar, and Kazuya is asleep in his room right now, doing all of this. <laughs> oh wait, so that means I can't go into the bedroom, otherwise it's gonna cause like some paradox crap. So does that mean the real Kazuya real Kazuya is upstairs in some kind of comatose state? No, a duplicate of an individual can't exist in the same space as the original, which is why I temporarily sequestered him in another dimension using my Schrodinger, Schrodinger ability. That's because if something happens to the one sleeping, then we're in real trouble, even if the Kazuya couldn't hear us safe. Don't worry, I'll make sure nothing happens to him. Oh my goodness, that is so complicated. But is this really okay? Wasn't that angel magic more trouble than it was worth? There was a reason he handed it back to that woman. And there's some miscalculation on your part and the magic inside him ends up going out of control. That also won't be a problem. I've eliminated all decision possibilities this time. That's why I choose to use the consciousness from the official timeline. At the very least, that means it shouldn't be possible for the intervener's decisions to lead him down the path of doing the bidding of those two. So this mind of mine, this mind is my own, but this body is an avatar. So that's why there was an error when I first tried to use the capsule. What? They're here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> of course, Lucy was able to sense it too. It would seem we have another visitor, though not a welcome one this time. What was that exploding noise? Are we under attack? Yeah. Seems we have someone attacking my barrier. Please do not worry, they have yet to break through. However, at this rate, it will only be a matter of time. Allow me to deal with it before that happens. Break through? Just how much more can it take? Let's see. It should last another, maybe another three whole days at the current rate. <laughs> um... <coughs> But it's us they want, so if anyone should be going out there to deal with them, it should be us. We shouldn't forget that our opponents can cross dimensions. It's a bad idea to get non-guests involved in all this. That's right. I didn't choose who would be the guests of the tea party based on their power. There were other, more important reasons. That's why we should be the ones to deal with the Abaddon's assassins. That's fine with you, isn't it, Kazuya-kun? Yeah, of course. Let's drive off Abaddon's assassins. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I don't want my detective agency to get destroyed. <laughs> I haven't even given a name yet. Of course, we have no intention of causing any ha more hassle than we already have. Let's go. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, is oh, the echidna from before? What's with this barrier? It hasn't even moved an inch. I know attack magic isn't normally my specialty, but I shouldn't have at least, should have at least been able to put a crack in it with how much magic I threw at it. Whoever set this barrier up must have a screw loose. Stop. Oh my, Kazuya John, I didn't expect you to come out to meet me. Did you miss your mommy that much? No, no, I did not. Stop, Yami Chan. I didn't even press anything. Stop, Yami Chan. Don't get into any weird contests with her. I was taken by surprise last time and had to retreat, but I've been practicing since then and now I have much more control over my powers. So much so I can now do things I couldn't before. Naturally, that means I've perfected that magic as well. This time I'll definitely make you fall so over heels for me you won't even entertain the idea of running away. You're bluffing. It's obvious just by looking, looking that, by looking that your magic wasn't able to make a scratch on this barrier. Meanwhile, we're protected on the other side. It's obvious you're at a huge disadvantage here. Is that what you think? Did you not notice that the large... Did you not think that the large noise I made was actually to draw you out? 
Though it's true this barrier is surprisingly sturdy, that doesn't matter if this happens. Uh-oh. How? Abaddon shouldn't be able to meddle with the official timeline. You foolish, disembodied cathead. Did you really think that everything would be fine as long as not... As long as not all of your intervention power was consumed? Your judgment and intellect have been reduced since losing your body and the majority of yourself, have they not? The fact you perverted to being Cheshire is proof of that. No way. Oh dear, with that part of space-time gone, the barrier protecting you has also disappeared. And now I have three cute little boys right in front of me. Well, whose mommy I should be? No. You won't be anyone's mommy, you stupid Shota-eating snake. Okay, Alice, you have no room to talk. I know this is paradox, Alice, but she has no room to talk. We're gonna kick you straight back to your own world. However, it is true that her magic has grown in strength. You need to be especially careful of her age regression magic. Oh boy. <coughs> oh, the Archangel's here too. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, max HP. Okay. I like that. Get this up too. I like this music.
Maybe she's right in front of us and that magic gets some kind of homing ability. Use me as support. Cat's eye katana to absorb it. So it can do that. I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't like the attack magic. While the type of the damage appears with long wavelengths. Using my sword, I might be able to align to its frequency and absorb it. Right. I don't really get it, but I'll trust you, Yama John. I can handle enough how lemons have to use some sovereign insight. Got no better options. Let's make or break. Judgment Day.
One more time. And let's just that. My power is disappearing. Please, Kazuka. <laughs> Chad, call me mommy just one more time. No, not happening. Goodbye. You're done. You're done, Zo. <coughs> Grand Wizard. Oh, wait. Can I equip that? Or am I going to give that to uh, Mary? She vanished. It would seem her materialized form collapsed and her connection to Abaddon separate in accordance with this world's natural laws. I suspect she has now returned to her own world. It is victory pose. <laughs> I remember him doing that before. What's that about? Listen, this is something that any RPG protagonist just does in an RPG. All right, Luca, like there's, there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. If I had to say, you probably do the same thing every time you win a battle at Monster Girl Quest Paradox or the visual novel. Goodness. And I can, I can imagine Kazuya doing, uh, for some reason, I imagine him doing a victory pose and his victory pose. Um, if any of you guys have played like Smash Brothers enough, then I think you'd know about uh, Fox's win pose when he has the um, his uh, laser pistol out. But if you hold the B button while that victory pose is going on, rather than him just look from left to like look from side to side, he look from left to right and spin the gun back into the holster. That's what I imagine Kazuya doing. Don't worry about it. That's just his way of doing a victory shout. Yeah. No. The world of the official timeline has... I can't sense Abaddon's presence anymore. This is probably him trying to show us that he can get to us anytime, anywhere. But this world is already... Dying. What are all these things? New assassins from Abaddon? No. Their hyenas drawn to the smell of the end times. Low grade demons also known as beasts. That's... Yeah, them! This world's collapse has begun. It can no longer be stopped. No! Kazuya, please leave this to us and escape. Also, make sure you defeat Abaddon. Everything will be restored if Abaddon is defeated, right? So there's no other way to save this world. So don't worry about us. But we don't have anywhere to run to. Don't worry. It would appear that gentleman will show you the way. Gentleman? Who? What? What? Oh, hello. Hi. Who are you? Hey, Lucy Kun. Long time no see. You're as beautiful as ever tonight. I see you haven't changed either, Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer, where the hell have you been? What have you been doing all this time? The world's about to disappear while we've been waiting for you. What took you so long to get ready? Oh, was he the other guest? Hey, don't talk like that. Put yourself in my shoes for a moment. I was just a little late and found the venue for the tea party had vanished without a trace. Also, I've already done my job. I've only come here to make sure you all don't waste my hard work. Come on, come on don't you know who I am? I'm Lucifer Bloody Morningstar. The tea party. Is this the helper mentioned earlier? Well, let's get into all that after we've moved location. This world isn't what you'd call safe anymore. I'm reluctant to have to rely on you, Lucifer, but I'll leave them all to you. Don't worry, Lucy Kuhn. I'll safely escort your knight. As far as I'm able, anyway. 
Lucy, Nina, Titana Boa. Oh. What's with that look? This isn't some final parting. Everything will be restored if you go and beat up Abaddon. In times like this, you should be seeing us off with a confident look to reassure us. I think she's been watching... She's probably been reading too many manga. That's probably what it is. Don't worry about us, Kazuya. Just promise you'll deal with all this and come back to us lickety split. Boy, oh boy. Oh, man. So what now? We're not actually going to just sit here and wait for the world to end, are we? Perish the thought. A normal demon might do that, but I'm afraid we're his spirits. And we've learned a thing or two from all the, the things he's shown us. That's the spirit. I never planned on giving up. Let's give him hell. We can't let Kazuya have all the fun. We'll fight with everything we have until the bitter end. Let's go, you two. <laughs> nice. Fight to the bitter end. <laughs> oh, that's the sound of the world being... Oh, no. Oh. Their rooms have disappeared. Oh, where are we? <coughs> Let me take a small break. Or... <coughs> God, when I was saying the fight to the bitter end, I didn't literally mean fight to the end. Shit, the rooms are gone. Where are we? We're in a visualized multi multiverse space. That's what this is called, isn't it? Yeah, the only method we have of fighting Abaddon. This space is parallel worlds upon parallel worlds. Even explaining it like that, a demon would only be able to vaguely understand on a most instinctive level what that means. So, like... It's kind of like um, the the dimensional space or whatever um, for the apoptosis in Paradox. Okay. <laughs> well, the existence of this space alone wouldn't be enough to ca uh, capture Abaddon. Which is why I had Lucifer use his power to temporarily solidify a pathway so that even a human could visualize where the worlds line up and use the space to traverse them. Okay. This was no easy task, you know, but you're not wrong to liken it to outer space, and just like it, there's no way, for, the one way forward. I'm not even gonna try to freaking like, do the Lucifer voice, because... Like, I, I mean, like, my immediate thought was just to do the Lucifer Morningstar voice, but I, I can't. I'm not British enough. I normally wouldn't accept this kind of bothersome request, but hearing that some humans would be putting their bodies on the line to challenge Abaddon got me very interested. So I thought it would be an absolute waste to pass up this opportunity. Particularly you, Luca. It feels like you and I know each other somehow. What a strange feeling. Huh? What's wrong, Cheshire? You don't have the same spunk you had before. The, the official timeline world has been lost because I jumped this to it. Along with my intervention power. Speaking of which, you mentioned before that you had your intervention power stolen. Just how much was taken exactly? I tried doing a full check earlier. My main functions are still working fine, but my authority was skillfully extracted out of me. I think my intervention medium functions were intentionally left to try to lull me into a false sense of security. Just like with his assassins, he's pretty clever. I'm sorry, Kazuya-kun. I... Keep it together. What we're we gonna do if you start going all timid? I have to defeat Abaddon no matter what. We need you to lead us now more than ever. Neither me nor the others have given up. You're right. I'm sorry. I can't lose my nerve, especially now. 
For now, if we follow the path Lucifer's created, we should end up reaching Abaddon. I'll go over the strategy for that battle. <sighs> so that's Kazia Kun. And that's Marion Kun beside him. Their wills are just as strong as I had heard. Looks like it will be just as interesting as I expected. Humanity versus Abaddon. I wonder who will win. Oh. Let's see, verse first layer. Did I? I think it's for me, right? No. Oh, it's for Luca? What? Lowers attack damage. Specific name. I can't summon. Buffs Alice. Increased summon spirit duration. Ooh. Oh, I never switched swords. Are you serious? Up his lights. The chanting, like the, the the female chanting in the back, it's it reminds me of uh, Artanelico. This will lower my health some, but I feel like... path, yeah. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Second layer. Okay. What? There's a du- What? Oh. What? I don't understand it at all. These are the shadows of human consciousness from ruined worlds. You could say they're the byproduct of so-called chaos phenomena. Paradox events. Co chaos collapses. There are various ways that souls can be separated from their world's natural laws, cutting them off in the cycle of reincarnation. This form is not something that's limited to the souls of humans. There have been instances of strong emotions or impactful events forming spaces of their own as well. There may be a wide variety of them even here. Feel free to peer into them if you're curious. Hellhounds. Gotta be smart, can't run. get you out of the way. Whoa. A rest area. Well, I can use this opportunity to prepare. Okay. Clutch in her bloody hand. Suit took the last breath just a little while ago. Here are the mother demon groups. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, it was too late. 
And those two evacuates almost as if they came here looking for something. My assault rifle's busted. Looks like the girls were twisted. Very good. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Oh, I think I have to go into each one. I gotta go into each one. Yeah, I've gotta go to each one. In doing so, I think that'll unlock the path for me. Andronite. Erendite. Is that for him? No. For Luca. Supposedly belonging to a legendary knight of the gold region. Slightly reduces element damage. Lower than the bastard sword, but cannot invade. That might be better for him. Oh. Hey, wait. This is where... That gun. I see, so you managed to escape. You gotta deserve some thanks for that. What a shame. I felt like a ghost wandering around like this. Too afraid to show my face to my brother and the rest of them. I know what you're going to say. Aside from that brat, none of the demons here are attacking out of any malice. Damn, if it's gonna end up like this, I should have taken her up on that offer and given her a kiss. Damn her for making a mess of our world. You gotta take her down, please. Take who down? Hecate? Is he talking about Hecate? Who is she? Grand male. There's letters. Military locker room. Letter from someone's brother. I'm sorry, I'll do nothing but complain if we speak face to face, so leave this last note behind for you instead. Decide not to return home after all. Even if you'll be good to me, I won't be able to endure the stares of everyone around us. While you continue to be promoted, I'm still stuck in the helicopter maintenance. I don't have a place in that house. I'm proud to have you as my brother, but that's not the issue. I'm sorry, but please go home without me. P.S. Congrats on the promotion. That magnum's been specially made for you, so please take good care of it. Sweet, so the magnum that I got from that guy that got captured by Arachne? That's somebody's brother. Oh, shit. Aww. Former subordinate. Yuma, congratulations on becoming squad hat captain. It's not my style to say these kinds of things directly to people, so forgive the letter. Responsibility of making sound judgment calls will be even greater now that you have a squad of your own. It's not just your own life on the line, but all of the men under your command that you could potentially endanger. You have people in your life you care about, don't you? Be sure to treat your squad members with that same regard. Knowing you, you'll become a fine captain. I have a brother who's precious to me, but he left the army and I don't know where he is. To this day, I've had no contact from him. I hear a rumor he's a helicopter pilot somewhere, but un ultimately I have no solid information. What if there was something I could have said so things didn't end up the way they did? That's why I treat you like you're my little brother, so don't do anything stupid out there. Damn. Okay. This is the last one. Eternal Prison. Something that looks like an angel's raiment has been taken off and discarded here. A tattered seraphim pouch. While it doesn't have much of its original form, what's there looks identical to the one Marion carries around. A parallel world of what could be. 
It's certainly how they operate. So... Angel's Raymond. I wonder who was there. All right. I don't know what your line of sight is. <sighs> Three spaces, I think. And here we go. Oh, God. And we're surrounded. I don't know what I expected. Thank you. 
Silver Knightly Breastplate. Thirty percent instant revive chance when down. Will plus eighty percent. Goodness. Yes, please. Woo! Hiyaki! Hey, Kazuya. Looks like you're in quite a hurry. Hiyaki? This isn't the time to be running into nuisances. Lucifer, I thought I asked you to make sure we wouldn't be found. Didn't I make that very clear? Are you implying a mistake on my part? How absurd. I was particularly on alert for her presence. There was no way we could have been tailed. I wasn't the one who found you, Kazuya. To tell you the truth, I had a helper furnish me in uh, furnish me with the info. A helper? A <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to be here. I wasn't expecting her at all. <laughs> she ask me. You're Kazuya, aren't you? Please to me, you'll make your acquaintance. I'm gonna cute little Lamia. Cute? Who are you? Allow me to officially introduce myself. My name is Amir, the information broker. I'm a bit of a special case in that I'm both a Lamia, but also not. Wait, hold up. No matter what kind of information broker you might be, there must be some limit on what you could find out. How did you know we were here? Don't you know, love has no limits. No matter where hero summon might be, come hell and high water, I'll... Wait, what am I saying? Anyway, don't understand, underestimate my information network. All I needed was Hiyaki to explain a little bit of how this place ticks, and the rest was simple. I didn't actually want to come to a dangerous place like this. But after the stack of cash she put in front of me, I'd be a disgrace to the information brokers everywhere if I didn't guide her here. You know what? She has a point. She's a prof She is a professional. All right, she's a she's a Lamia with standards. And while I'm doing that, I thought I could let the people here know what that our world is full of cute monster girls just like me. Stop it. Don't give me that look like you're expecting me to do something about this. Whatever she's trying to preach has nothing to do with me. There's a great variety of monster girls that live in our world, and I can't deny that among them are, well, some unique ones. It's an awfully vague way of phrasing it. Are we to believe that there are others like this one? Uh, unfortunate type. Now I get it. Bingo. So that means she's from your world? She says there's a pretty distinctive look. Amira really helped me out. Not only did she guide me here, but she also helped bring the merchandise. I bet you guys are starting to run low on items about now, huh? I brought some goods from the human realm, but I'm leaving sales and anything else up to her. Hang in there, Kazuya. Aww. Huh? Aren't you gonna do anything about me being here? You made some pretty bold statements about what you do next the time we met. It's true that I hate you so much I wish I could kill you. But the way you are now, beating you to a bloody pulp and smashing your head in wouldn't be satisfying at all. And I'm not so stupid to do something that's short-sighted. Kazuya wouldn't be able to defeat Abaddon without you there to guide him. There's a reason why the twins have their eye on me. It's because they knew I was in my room waiting for you that they started following me. I'm declaring a truce between us until this series of problems is resolved so we can take responsibility for our mistakes. Hiyaki. So there you have it, Kazuya. Be careful moving on ahead, and be sure to give Abaddon a smack right in his ugly face. Don't give in. God, see? Ah, uh, she... Hiyaki disappears somewhere deeper into the space. Oh yeah, 
I didn't ask about something really important. Hyak Cheshire, just what did you do to make Hyaki hate you so much? And why does she have the same understanding of interventions that you do? Hmm, I guess you could say they're natural enemies. Hyaki's tribe has unusually strong connections to business and scientific research for Oni. But those amazing abilities are also a curse. They created something heinous in the distant future. The bodies of the twins that M.O.W. used. Huh? Wait, what? Of course, not everyone on the staff were members of her tribe, but through her tribe's involvement, the twins' bodies could carry out more accurate intervention. Now, not only did you have Ma Abaddon's materialization to deal with, but on top of that, there was no way to negate his plans. And having intervention power perfectly copied like that was a real problem for the higher powers. The Akis tribe had to be prevented from getting involved in that research to make sure all that didn't come to pass. At the very least, they couldn't be allowed to live until that future and leave behind their research material. That's why I destroyed her tribe. Because I was tasked with fixing the timeline. I did what I was told to by the higher powers without hesitation. But at the time, she'd only just been born. And so, because her name wasn't on the target list, she was the sole survivor I left behind in their village. At the time, I couldn't even fathom what she must have thought of me, seeing me obliterate her entire tribe right in front of her, leaving her the only one of her kind left. Just like now, she was also a peddler back then, so it was likely decided that her chances of becoming involved in the development of the twins was practically non-existent. As you'd expect, she followed Cheshire to get revenge, but unfortunately for her, she was chasing an intervention medium who was not limited to just a single world. But she didn't give up and wandered through all kinds of parallel worlds, and then she became aware of it. The existence of interventions. She was doing research while she was carrying out her peddler job. She found out what I am, about the natural laws used to observe, as expected from a member of her tribe. And in finding all that out, she learned about the world's history being revised in a large way through a single individual in a single period of time. She went to a number of worlds and saw it with her own eyes. Intervention targets who saved the galaxy in some universe-spanning sci-fi world, and ones who found hope in devastated worlds. And then, a certain incident happened. A certain incident? The fusion- the fusing of a certain intervention targets soul in the form of a promise made as a demon. Having done that, she started constantly feeling the effects of that intervention. To make things worse, it was Cheshire's intervention that she felt. Even though individuals learning about intervention is usually a problem, the higher powers never ordered me to eliminate her. I never understood why until recently. Not until your intervention. The official timeline. She was never eliminated because she was critical to creating the official timeline. <coughs> I understand now. There's no help in the fact that she resents me, so I have no right to stop her anyway. Though I don't know if you could say that I'm an entity with a life so as such, but I'll gladly pay for my sins any way I can. But now's not the time for that. Since seeing her in that forest, I firmly believe that my duty will not end. Cannot end until Abaddon is defeated. Sure, sure. Now then, let's hurry on ahead. We can't afford to take our time. It's gonna move on and take down Abaddon. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Instead of a convenient adventuring toolbox, you've got the delightful <laughs> Amira. No, no, there's something you need. Um, yeah, let's shop. Anything else, maybe? Oh, I can buy their armor and whatnot? Contains the soul of a sealed beast. She's a classic water beast. She has an ancient stone dragon. Hmm. Right, Luke is not wearing a, uh... <sighs> Offhand thing. Now I see why I've been getting these. But I should probably check just in case I don't have... Synthesized items, just in case.
Okay. I'll give him this. there's anything I need to reset. Go to mirror. I have something that I need to say to those people who think they have a shot at seeing this beauty before them in action if they come to my world. <laughs> I already know there's no scene. I don't have a squeezing scene of my own. My apologies to those who had their hopes. <laughs> no one's thinking that Kazuya, funnily enough, that's actually where you're wrong. <laughs> I'm probably one of the few that actually would not mind. Oh man, hang on. Uh, herbal tea set. Yeah. Have some tea. Yeah. Okay. Save. I've been going this, keeping this on for a while, but I think I can keep going. Let's see what's next. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh-oh. I remember you. I've been waiting for you, Kazia. We're linked by fate, you and I. Looks like you managed to return to your normal self. That's good, you wouldn't be able to enter mating with me otherwise. Seems like your goal is simply to have Kazia. It's almost like you have no interest at all in taking over the world. So how did Abaddon get you on board? My objective was just to prey on someone. Though it feels refreshing to be able to freely use the power I was given, I'm just happy to be able to prevent prey on humans without being told off by anyone. But I had a change of heart after meeting him. I ended up yet 
being quite taken with him to an extent. Yes, if I had to compare him to something, he'd be a pork cutlet, perhaps. Just hearing his name didn't do much for me, but I was addicted after experiencing his scent and flavor. He was a rather he has a rather mysterious appeal. He's finally being acknowledged as a pork cutlet by opponents who shouldn't know the first thing about him. <laughs> I'm just being honest. From the start, I didn't want to help Avedon after finding out about his plans to destroy the world. I did want something exciting and stimulating, but not if I'm going to lose my own home. That's why I'm letting you all go. What? Really? Yes, but there is a condition. But don't worry, it's nothing that unreasonable. Once everything to do with Abaddon is settled, I want you to live with me as my spouse and reproductive partner. Agree to that and I'll let you all pass. What? I mean, come on, I just can't otherwise. Knowing that I know about you, there's no way I can let you go. We'll be satisfied unless we're mating all the time. But don't worry, I won't eat you right away. I'll keep you as my beloved pet until you start declining as a male. That's a pretty good deal by your world standards, isn't it? Uh, how about no? No, that'd be a problem. We already have a Kazuya in our world. Having a second identical one in the same dimension would cause all sorts of issues. Luca's world is also unstable. Who knows what would happen if we added more destabilizing elements? We can't accept that kind of risky proposition. Aren't they even going to ask for my opinion? Kazuya, are you saying you want to? I see. That's unfortunate. It seems we have a breakdown in negotiations, then. In that case, I'll have to resort to force. I'll make you mine, Kazuya. Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder what would happen if I take Kazuya to the high slug in Paradox. See what he would say about it. Uh, you're mostly physical attacks. That much I remember. Just in case. Or Yeah, that's how it worked last time.
Got her. High slug girl is cowering, her saber pointing downward for the first time in the battle. Let's stop this. It's over. No matter how much power you have in the world fusion, I'm not alone this time. Indomitable fighting spirit. Wait a minute. What are you saying? We're only just getting to the fun part. I still have plenty of fight left in me. Damn, girl. You still don't get it. I'm plenty powerful even without the world fusion. Behold. She really don't want to give up. I mean, I applaud her, but you gotta know when to sit down. Once again, like Sora is shaking slightly. Please just give up. You're clearly in bad shape. We don't want to hurt you, especially when there's no need to. Gosh, she's getting up again! Not yet. I'm not the type to let go when things are going her way. There's no way I could give up so easily. Give up until I've held you in my bosom at least once. Goodness. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there is such a thing as being too enthusiastic, and I think she she found it. Like this this is it. This is being too enthusiastic. Hey. Stay Dragon Scale Rape here. Not yet. I haven't lost yet. Just stay down. Oh watch out. <coughs> because you're desperate, girl. You're on the high slug girl who's about to plunge into the abyss. What are you doing, Kazuya kun? Damn. Grab her tight. I'll pull her up. <laughs> Her mucus, she's slipping. Come on, figure it out, you two. Keep a tight grip and pull her back up. Huh? There we go, got her. You can pull him now, Impuse. Oh! <sighs> it really feels like I've been working my Ivy way too hard lately. Lampus, Empuse, even Bargas here. And <laughs> I'm telling you, you aren't a dog. <laughs> Not unless you got the dog's brain. Because remember, even Time Memo said they got the mind of beasts, so any kind of beast could have been used. So, it, so it's possible that a dog was used. Why did you save me? I was being so stubborn in defeat. It would have been better to let me disappear. Did you want to live? Want me to live on with the disgrace of being rescued by an enemy? It's like I said, there's no need for us to fight anymore. I mean, you've never supported Abaddon's plans anyway, right? Also, it's because we're enemies that I can't just stand by and watch you die. Our goal is to ultimately to subdue Abaddon, and though that makes us enemies, we should still be on the same page about not wanting our world to be destroyed. If so, then we should be able to understand one another. And though he never says a word, I'm sure Marion was also thinking the same thing when he helped. I'm afraid these three aren't interested in things like making you live in disgrace. The fact they all jumped to help you without second thought is proof of that. Your battle with them was over. At least that's how they saw it. Huh? He's making the moves on some new girl at a, at a time like this? It must be hard being so popular, huh, Kazuya? We three came here because we had a bad feeling. And my room has gotten weird. Lucy and Nina don't have rooms anymore. Did something happen? Wait, so Lucy and Nina, but what about Titana Boa? That's... What's happening? What's wrong, you guys? Something crazy is coming. What? What is it? Oh. Lucy? It's Iron Maiden from the Genocide Timeline. The world that Hiyaki was supposed to have buried. The official timeline is gradually losing its status as official. Its intervention authority has grown. It's planning on turning the Genocide Timeline into the official one. Do we have no choice but to fight her? We can't. Her immense power will be unchanged even in that state. Even if we can somehow manage to win, we wouldn't come out of the fight in one piece. And if you don't feel any hostility toward her, that doesn't mean you should take the risk as when Hecate, Hecate was trying to bait you. We shouldn't carelessly jump into a battle. Then what are we supposed to do? Go on ahead, Kazuya. Leave her to us. Wait a minute. We'll buy you as much time as we can, so go, Kazuya. Defeat Abaddon. What are you saying? You can't... We're not under any illusions that we can easily defeat Lucy, son. We're just buying you some time. It's not like there's any benefit to doing this. I only get the gist of what's happening, but basically everything goes back to normal if you defeat Abaddon, right? So that's all you should be focusing on. We don't need you to worry about us. Just like an Arachne's nest, we'll run away if it gets too dangerous. Kazuya, I think you should leave this to them for now. We can't forget about our original objective. Kazuya Kun. I understand. Be careful, you three. Don't you do anything reckless. Wait, so if it's trying to make the genocide timeline the official timeline, then. 
What's your deal? Aren't you gonna run? It's not like you have a dog in this fight. That might have been true until just a little while ago, but it would appear that he's done something to make me start thinking strangely, just like he's done with all of you. I'll make it abundantly clear just how powerful I am even without the power of world fusion. Objective confirmed, commencing diversionary attack. Goodness. It's expanding. Or expanded? What's this? Distant Village Road. Wait. There's gotta be something here, isn't there? Distant Village Road? Don't go, One-san. Stay here and help that- Hiyaki! What are you talking about? You and One-sama will be more than- Enough to help around the house. There's no need for me to be there. Besides, I'd much, rather much be traveling around all sorts of different places than doing research in the house. Outcasts move on super quick. Again with that. But your story about the country beyond the Eastern Sea was super fun. Please make sure you come back with more stories of your travels. Leave it to me. Next time I'll come, I come home, I'll bring back stories that'll knock your socks off. Oh. <laughs> I think that was actually a pretty good place to stop. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not even sure what I can say at this point. Next time on Shrift EX4, we'll keep going through the layers and try to be able to reach Abaddon as quickly as we can before anything else gets before anything else happens. See you guys then.